it's certainly going to be challenging for the Fed to institute a rapid easing program, uh, either consistent with what they measure in the SCP or what they say in the SCP, and certainly inconsistent with the extreme cuts that are priced in to the short rate market uh, in an environment where inflation remains a bit above what their target is. And uh, parts of that inflation look pretty sticky and the economy is doing pretty well. And that's really the challenge that I see here in terms of the pricing, which is we basically have a huge gap in expectations that has emerged over the course of the last couple of uh, months where uh, the macroeconomic conditions would suggest roughly stable monetary policy, uh, at least for the first, the next, you know, six to nine months. The Fed is suggesting that economic conditions may weaken, which will cause them to cut interest rates three times over the course of 24. And at its most extreme, the financial markets, the short rate markets, were pricing in between six and seven cuts over the same time frame. So there's a big inconsistency between those two points. And in particular, it is driven by this right tail that you see here on the left-hand chart, which is a very high probability expectation of a lot of cuts coming into the market, likely due to the fact that there's going to be expectations of very weak economic conditions. And that that's what seems like a low probability event. You know, the probability that the Fed, that the economy remains fine and that the Fed does little to nothing over the course of 2024, that probability is is baked in at about 10% in terms of the options markets on December 24 short rates, about a 10% probability of that. Whereas the probability that we have a significant recession is priced between 30 and 40%. My guess is that the reality of those probabilities is flipped given the macroeconomic circumstances, that the possibility that we have enough good enough growth and a modest in, uh, increase in inflation that's sufficient to cause the Fed to, to be a little more hesitant to cut I'd say is in the 30 to 40% range. And the odds that we have a meaningful recession consistent with what's priced in here in terms of hundreds of basis points of cuts in 2024 is probably closer to 10%. And so the probabilities of the pricing look flipped relative to the probabilities of the macroeconomic realities.